Hello, Karen. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very good. And you? I'm fine. You look so good today. Really? <laughs> Thank you, Francisco. You know what? I feel a little bit tired today. Yeah, it's, it's, it's because Monday. It's Monday and I worked yesterday. I don't work on Sundays, but yesterday there I had to. <laughs> there was an emergency and I had to work yesterday. So that maybe that's why. <laughs> it's, it's maybe. True. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello, Isaura, Adriana, Blanca, Jairo. Adriana, good evening. Welcome to the class. Today is our class number Hi, eight. And it's uh, Monday, June 5th, 2023. We are going to continue learning about the present perfect in the section four, describing past experiences. And well, guys, we have the agenda, recalling previous knowledge, Present perfect questions. Today you are going to learn the question, how long have you? And the active in the activity three, you are going to learn how to use the expressions for, since, just, already, and yet with present perfect. Okay? And the wrap-up. But before we start, I need to take the attendance. So right now. Uh, please say present or here when I mention your name and please turn on your camera. Turn on your camera. It's important to have your camera on so the INSA4 auditor can see that it's you, right? It's you who are taking the English class. So let's start with Adriana Gretel. Here. Thank you, Adriana. Ana Silvia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martinez. Here I am, teacher. Blanca Margarita Guevara de Orellana. Present. Brian Hyberson Escobar. Brian Hyberson. David Alonso Mejia. Present. Thank you, David. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present teacher. Evelyn. Francisco Villafuente. Present teacher. Thank you. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Thank you. Giselle Marie Hernández. Iris Janet Martínez. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jairo Naman Moss. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jairo. Josué Miguel Portillo. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Eh, Karen Yvette Villanueva. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Kenya Vanessa Corbera. Leslie Victoria Morán. Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Luisa, Luisa Mayra Patricia Pérez. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Nimrod Saúl Guzmán. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present. Thank you, Nubia. Oscar Santana. Present, teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Renato Salvador Ramírez. Ruth Noemí Beltrán. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Ruth. Jenny, Carolina, Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you for connecting on time. Excellent. Okay. So let's. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, I, I just joined the, the class. Eh, Josué Miguel. Miguel por ti, okay. Yes. Teacher, I'm late. Mayra. Good evening. Good evening. Mayra Patricia Pérez. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Renato also. Renato Salvador. No, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Uh, he's connecting the audio in this moment. Well, guys, as I told you, we're going to Hello. present. Hello? Isel Hernandez, present. Uh, okay. Hernandez Torres. Yes. Okay. Well, in the last class, we learned about present perfect and simple past difference. The present perfect, remember, is for a, an, an, a situation or an experience that started in the past but continues to the present. For example, I have walked five kilometers today. I have walked five kilometers today and I can continue, I can continue walking, right? Now, the past simple is an event or experience happened in the past, but finished in the past. Example, yesterday I walked seven kilometers, okay? And that's all. So, in the next exercises, in the next exercises, you are going to help me to complete the, the sentences with simple past or with present perfect. Mm -hmm. You can identify it uh, because of the time expression. For example, it says Jane din cooked dinner last night. Last night. So what is the cooked? Cooked, right? Simple Excellent. Past. Cooked. cooked. Simple past. Yes, cooked. Simple okay. past. Number two. I didn't. Didn't. I didn't. It says since I was in university. Start. Simple pass. Okay, if it's simple pass, simple pass. No lo vi. And if it's simple present, I haven't seen, no lo he visto. Desde que estaba en la universidad. Exactly. I haven't seen him since I was in university. I haven't seen him since this day, since I was in university. Okay. The test begins at three. Perfect. Has it has it started yet? At the start. Aha. Uh -huh. Ya ha empezado? Has it started yet? Okay, number four. How long? Have you had? Have you had? Excellent. Have you had that laptop? How long have you had that laptop? Number five. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard 
the latest news yet? The plane number six. The plane. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. What is the pronunciation? Ford. 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 Cars. Ford. 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 Have you heard the latest news yet? Yourself when you when you pronounce. Excuse me, Rob. You use F when you pronounce the no, sound. It's, it's D at the end. Have you heard? Uh -huh. Heard. Okay. With D at the end. Have you heard the latest news? Okay. Okay, number six. The plane from Madrid. Uh Alright. Has, has just a... arrived. Right. Has just arrived. Has just arrived. Okay. The Egyptians, the pyramid. Uh huh. Has building. Has has building. The simple has right. The build. Egyptians built built the pyramids because that was in the past right the the modern egyptians don't build pyramids right the modern egyptians people okay our team look the expression is yesterday so if Peter, i have a question in the number seven uh, Bill is the past participle. Built is the past tense. Okay, the, the, the exercise is past simple or present perfect? Okay, okay some sentences are in past simple. Other sentences are in present perfect. In this case, the Egyptians built the pyramids. It's in past simple. Thank you, teacher. Okay, but built is the past and the past participle of built. <laughs> okay, number eight, our team. Lost. Exactly, lost. Lost, lost the match yesterday. And number nine. I, I have been. Excellent. I have lived here for three years. Great. And number 10, we asked, but they have. Oh, I told you. We asked, but they. They haven't. But they but... haven't. What is the past participle of give? <laughs> Given. Given. Exactly. Given. They haven't. They haven't given us anything. Given us anything. Very good. So number one, Jane cooked dinner last night. Is. Past simple. Past simple. Past I haven't simple. seen him since I was in university. Present perfect. Present perfect. perfect. Present perfect. The test begins at three. Has it started yet? Present perfect. Present perfect. perfect. How long have you had that laptop? Present perfect. Present, Present perfect. perfect. Have you heard the latest news yet? Present, Present perfect. perfect. The plane from Madrid has just arrived. Present yeah. perfect. Present perfect. The Egyptians built the pyramid. Pass simple. Our team lost the match yesterday. Pass simple. I have lived here for three years. Present perfect. We asked, but they haven't given us anything. Present perfect. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Okay. 
Now, guys, let's learn how to use for and since with present perfect. We use for a period of time from start to end. Example, for 20 minutes, the quantity or the amount of time for 20 minutes, for three days, for six months, for four years, for two centuries, for a long time, forever, etc. And we can use for with all the tenses, present, past, or future. But we use since when we mention a point that started in the past, but continues until now. It's a point, example. Since 9 a.m., since Monday, since January, since 1997, since uh, 15,000 or 1,500, since I left school, since the beginning of time, etc. Only with, it's only used with perfect tenses. Now, look at the following examples. I need one volunteer to read, please, the two examples. I have been here for 20 minutes. I have been here 6 8 p.m. Excellent. I was calculating the time, right? <laughs> So I, I have been here, I've been here for 20 minutes. So when I use for, I say the period of time or the, or the quantity of time. And when I use since, I mention a point of start. I've been here since 8 p.m. I've been here in this class. No, no, 8 p.m. It's 9 p.m. I, I got confused with the other okay. one. <laughs> 9 p.m. Okay. Okay. Another volunteer to read the second example. My I have been here. Okay, David. Thank you, David. I have been here since 8 p.m. Sorry, David. The, she has. Oh, my God. Sorry. She has stayed in the city for three days. Next. She has stayed in the city since Saturday. Exactly. So we can say, we can use for, or we can use since. But remember, when we use for, we say the quantity. She has to stay in the city for three days. She has to stay in the city since Saturday, right? Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Good. And she continues in the city. Let's see the next example. Who wants to read the next two examples? Karen Bernal? Yes. I have taught English for nine years. I have taught English science. Uh, Twenty fourteen. Since. 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 Uh, okay. I have teens English science. Twenty. Since. Oh. Since, Karen. Since. Since. I, I have taught English. I have taught English. Since. Things, things, uh, 20? 2014. Yes, you got it, excellent. Yeah, Thank so you. that's 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 me, okay? It's true for me. I have taught English for nine years, formally, because I started before, but formally, I have taught English for nine years, or I can say I have taught English since 2014, okay, or since 2014. So I started teaching formally in 2014, okay? Good. 
Next examples. Who wants to read the next example? One volunteer, Mayra Perez. They have lived in San Miguel for a long time. They have lived in San Miguel since they were born. <laughs> exactly. So here we say for a long time, or we can say a starting point since they were born. Mm -hmm. All they like. <laughs> Thank you. So you see the difference between for and since? Well, let's see. In the next slide, we have some exercises. You are going to help me to complete if it's for or since. I've been working at this company for five years. That restaurant has been open since this morning. Kate has lived here since, 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 since 2012. It has been raining for a long time. For a long time. A long time. A long time. Oh. The TV has been on for five years. Or because it doesn't say five hours, it says five o'clock time, a specific time. So the TV has been on since five o'clock. Turn it off, leave it rest. <laughs> Okay, number six. I have wanted to be a doctor. Since I was since I was a kid. Sam has studied at this college for only a week. The telephone has been ringing, ring, ring. For a few, for minutes. For a few minutes. minutes. Maria and Eduardo have been married. Yes. Since for three months. For three months. For three months. My uncle has been in the hospital. Since, since, since last, last, last Tuesday. Since last Tuesday. My uncle has been in the hospital since last Tuesday. Tuesday. Good job. Good job. Excellent use of for and since. Great. Okay. Now, if you notice, we are asking here for a period of time, right? For time quantity of time or period of time. So the how can you ask for the time, the period of time? The question is how long? How long? How long have you studied English? How long have you lived in San Salvador? How long have you lived in El Salvador? How long have you lived in La Libertad? How long have you had your pet? If you have a pet, how long have you had your pet? How long have you been in this group, in this English group? How long have you had your cell phone? And please, the last question, you make it. You make the last question. So you are going to practice these questions in a small groups, I'm going to send you these questions, guys, so that you can practice in groups. And you ask and answer the questions. You will use for and seen. For example, if I asked, let's see one person in the class, Francisco. <coughs> How yeah. long have you studied English? 
I studied English science the three months. Mm -hmm. What was it again? Since or for? For three months. For three months. Uh -huh. I have studied. I have studied English for three months. Okay. Good. Esau. How long have you had your cell phone? I have my cell I have, phone. I have, I have had. I have had. I have had my cell phone uh, for nine years. Nine years, really? Wow! No, that's no, nice months. Oh, nine months. Nine months. Sorry. That was wow. That is a super great cell phone. <laughs> when did you buy it? <laughs> okay, good. So you will practice in in groups. Okay, so please. Practice in the small groups that uh, you will be assigned in a moment. Okay, go. Ay, me equivoqué. Le dije que no. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hola. Yes. Oh, creo que quedé yo sola. Mm, es que la, la compañera sí. Creo que escribió de que van al tráfico. No sé. Había tráfico. Ah, ok. I'm going to move you. Uh -huh. You are now in a different group. Hello, Karin. Do you have problems? Sí, no puedo. No, no puedo entrar. <laughs> no sé qué pasa. Sometimes, sometimes it takes some time. It takes time. Sí. Yeah, to send you to the group. But if not, you can practice with someone here. Okay. Adriana, Karen, Renato. Or it is. Es que me llegó la invitación, pero cuando le di, no me dejó. Oh. Pero no está cargando. Nada. Y primera vez que me pasa eso. Nada. Okay, Karen Elizabeth. Okay, okay. Let me change. Okay. Something here. Maybe. There you go. Sí. How long have you had your pet? Uh, me? Uh, yes, you. Uh, I have my pet since uh, years 2098. 90. Okay. No. Uh, 1000 or 2000? <laughs> No, the line there's the line of 2009 or 2019. Not 2019, correct. 2019, okay. Science, science 2019. Francisco, Francisco. Since. Since, okay, thank you. Since. 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 <laughs> okay, continue. 
Uh, now you, Mayra, the same. Girls, this is a group made up of girls only. Okay. Uh, did you start practicing, Isaura? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Well, time is running. Hello, Luisa and Giselle. In this question, I use only for answer is a foreign sign. Sin. Ah, perdón, eso sí. Yes, yes, it's ahora you. Because you are asking for like a period of time, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. For example, Saura, how long have you lived in Los Planes? The Randeros. 31 years old for, for uh, all your life. Yes. <laughs> okay, I have lived here. I have lived here for mm. all my life. or for 31 years okay, another here. question how long have you been married for uh, <laughs> 15 years old for 15 years yes really you have been married <laughs> yes <15 years? laughs> You, you got married very young. I have had been. Eighteen years old. Nineteen years old. Okay, you say I was eighteen years old. I was eighteen years old. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think Marie is here to she wants to practice with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, someone else? Hello, guys. Hello. Are you practicing? Mm, yes, with Lindy. Okay. But I don't know. Me. Guys, who wants to practice with me? Okay, okay uh, David, eh, si gusta, practiquemos nosotros. Okay. Porque Lindy ya estuvo con, con Miguel. Okay, you can make me questions, please. Okay, how long have you studied English? Um, I have been studying English for three years. Okay, how long have you lived in? Are you living? Uh, and you have to mention a place. Where do you live, David? I live in San Salvador. Okay, how long have you lived in San Salvador? I've lived in San Salvador since five years ago. Four. Ah, since five years ago. It's okay. Yeah. How long have you, uh, your pet? I have had my pet of since four years ago, yes. Okay, how long have you been in this group? I have been in this group uh, for three weeks. For three weeks? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
for three weeks. <laughs> so you are new in this. Yes. Okay. How long have you had your cell phone? I have had my cell phone uh, for seven months. Computer. I have my computer for three years, too. For three years or since three years? For three years, for three years. Mm. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. Ahora pregúnteme usted. Okay. How puede tener? Ajá. For example, how long have you had your car? If you have a car. <laughs> I have had my car for two years. Oh, okay. Okay. But the gas is so expensive. <laughs> I don't have a car. Not now and and the past. No, como se dice ni ahora ni antes. <laughs> Not now, <laughs> and before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not now, nor before. Okay. Today is the best option, traveling in bus. <laughs> it's cheaper. It's cheaper. Yes, because it's very expensive to travel by car. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and the less... Stress. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it depends, right? <laughs> yeah, sir. Yes. Okay, very good. I think are you did you all practice? Yes. Uh Karen is uh, uh, acaba de llegar. <laughs> ah. I think she she was having problems with the internet. Yes, I have problems. Don't worry. Okay, we we are going to come back to the main session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, it was good to listen to you practicing English. <laughs> well, I have some questions. Mm, let me ask Jairo. Jairo Moss, how long have you studied English? I have studied English for three years. For three years, wow, that's good. Yep. Okay. Um, Ruth, where do you live? I live in Soyapango. How long have you lived in Soyapango? Um, 45 years. I have lived in Soyapango for 45 years. 45 years. Okay, a long time. Yes, yes. <laughs> when I, I was born in this place. <laughs> we're born in Sayapang. Okay, good. Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia, do you have pets? Yeah, I yeah. have two pets. Are they dogs? Um, no, I have one dog and one and a cat. Ah, okay. How long have you had your cat? Uh, I I have had for, for, for one year 
Okay, you can say in a, in, a, in a long answer, I have had my cat for one year. I have, I have, come on. I have had, I have, 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 have uh -huh, um, my cat. I have had for one year. Okay, and your dog? Uh, I have had four... my dog. Uh -huh. I have had my dog for three years. Three years. Yeah. Okay, good. Blanca Guadalupe, how long have you been in this group? Blanca Guadalupe, how long have you been in this group? I según yo tenía el micrófono encendido. How been in this group since two weeks ago? Oh, so you were new in this group. I remember. I remember you were in another group. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Luisa Ariana Guerra. How long have you had your cell phone? Um, I have. I have. I have. I have had my cell phone one year. Four. For one year. Excellent. Very good. Great. Thank you, people. Good. Let's continue now. And we are going to learn how to use present perfect with just. The expression just is used with the present perfect to talk about very recent actions. Very recent. Okay. And remember the structure is subject plus have or has. Then the word just and the past participle. Example, I have just explained a grammar point. I have just explained this like some minutes ago. It's a recent action. And we have here some exercises. Complete the sentences with the present perfect of the words in brackets and just. Use short forms, contraction forms. Okay. My brother, example, my brother is very excited. He's just, remember, his is the contraction of he has. He's just passed his driving test. Okay, so it's very re a recent, something that just happened. Okay. Our team is winning, Diego. ¿Cómo sería aquí, Diego? <coughs> Has just. And the very in parentheses. Scored. Exactly. Has just scored a goal. Has just has scored. Scored, yes. They are not hungry, they... They have us. They have us. I will use the contraction form. They just. They have, just. They just had lunch. Had a lunch. They just had lunch. Okay. Now this one. I have finished. I have. I have, I have just finished. Exactly. I I have just. Yeah. I just finished. I just finished my homework. It was easy. It was a piece of cake. Sally isn't here. She. She has just. She taken. has just taken. She's taken. 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 She, she has taken the dog 
for a walk. Taking. Taking, yes. It's Liam's birthday today. I've just sent. sent. I just I just sent him a text message. So remember the the structure of the position of just is before the verb in past participle, right? Subject having had just and then the past participle of the verb. Good. We have more practice in the next slide. Look at the pictures and write sentences with the words in the box. Use the present perfect with just. For example, uh, number one is no, this is the example, the zero, zero example. She's just found some money or she has just found some money on the street, right? She found $20. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, what about number one, two, three, four, and five? We have the, the, the verb spray, a bottle, do the shopping, eat a fish, have a swim, and miss the bath. But remember, you will use the past participle of every verb. We can use the chat and we can see what is the first one. Or we, you can open your microphone. You want. She has, she has just done the, the oh my God. <laughs> done there? She's just done there? Money. The shopping. The shopping. The shopping. She's just done. Oh, the shopping is the one. Is it correct? Do the shopping? Done. Yeah, you can do the shopping and the past participle of do is done. Okay. Yes, it's correct. She has. Yes, I was. I was without because I've just used the go, go shopping. Oh, we do the shopping or go shopping? Yeah, that's, that's the way I use it. Okay, ir de compras o hacer las compras. Okay, thank you. Just, just done the yeah. shopping. Sure. Okay, what about the number two? <coughs> that was he, has just, he has just broken battle she has he is right because we're going to use contractions he's just, he's just broken broken a number three they've just missed they just, the bus. They, uh -huh. they've just missed the bus. They just missed the bus. Mm. <laughs> they just missed the bus. Number four. It's just okay. eating fish. It's X, right? It's eating just a fish. eating a fish. Fish. And number five. He. He's just swim. Had a swim. Mom. Great job. Great job, people. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now tell me something that you has just done right now. You can open your microphone or you can type it in the chat. Tell me something you just have done. I, I have. have mm -hmm. Yes, David. I have just um, drunk a cup of coffee. Drunk a cup of coffee. Very nice. Uh, Blanca says, I have just taken my dinner. Okay. <laughs> Good. 
Blanca Margarita. <laughs> okay, what else? I've just gone to the church, church. Oh, you've just gone to church before the class. Yep. Okay. You can say, I have just a come from work. I have just, okay, Oscar. Is, I have just driven, driven my motorcycle or riding, or ridden, ridden, ridden my motorcycle. I have just taken a shower, okay. Uh, I've just, just studied English. To take in, I just to take um, my dinner. I have just taken my dinner, yes. I have just taken a shower. Uh -huh. This is something that you, that is just recently done, right? Recently, very recent. Como decir, me acabo, acabo de. Good. Let's see, we have some minutes to go over the next examples. The next word is already. Already it's in the same position as just, right? Subject, have or had, already, and past participle. And it means before you expect it. Before you expect it. Examples. What time does the film start? Or what time does the movie start? It has already started. What time is Bill coming? He's already arrived. He is here. He's already arrived. John, this is Emma. Yes, I know. We have already or we've already met. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yet is used in negative sentences and questions. Only negative and question. And it's used at the end of the sentence. Oh no, we missed the train. Don't worry, it hasn't arrived yet. Is Tony here? No, he hasn't arrived yet. What's this book about? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Okay, so you got the idea? Yes. Yes. For me, yes. Great, great. <laughs> Good. And you can also use it in questions. <clears throat> now, here we are going to practice. Before we finish the class, we have a very... A easy exercise. I don't know if you need the if you need a, the slide to copy something. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe yes, right? You can copy the examples. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Uh what is the difference? I read I ready and I just I have just I have just is a few minutes ago exactly. and I ready is a few I, minutes ago <laughs> okay if you say I just read that book acabo de leer or you can say I have already read that book ya he leído ese libro Ya lo he leído, pero no significa que ahorita. Okay, that's the difference. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, are you ready to practice? No. Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm ready to practice. <laughs> okay, if you need this, I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you this slide. If you need, I want to send this picture. Mm 
<clears throat> just a minute, just a minute, and it's loading. Great. Okay, you have to choose what is the correct option. Just, yet, or already. Okay? I've, 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 Jet. Jet. With jet. Already. 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 Remember, yes. Yeah. Already jet. Jet is used. Jet is using negative. Uh -huh. Jet is yes. using already. negative. Ah, we've already seen the movie twice. La hemos visto twice. We have already seen. Has your mother opened her presents? Yes. Jet. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Got it, right? Okay. He's... He's already just... Yeah. Uh, on the TV. Just. Just. Yes, he's just turned on the TV. I haven't had breakfast. Yes. 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 And the next one, Richards. Richards, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I guess on my three time today. Ready? Just already. Just or already? Already. Yes. Already. It's correct. Richards already phoned me three times today. Okay, very good. Great. So, guys, <coughs> what did you learn in this class today? Past part, past simple, there's present perfect. Okay, the difference? Past simple, remember actions that started and finished in the past. We use expressions like yesterday, Last month, last year, on Tuesday, etc. In present perfect, starting in the past, and they continue up to the present. What else did you learn today? The use for the for and since. Okay, for and since, very important, right? Can you give me an example using for? And using things. For example, uh, I'm going to say I have had uh, a car since uh, 2015. Okay. It's just a, an example. I don't have a car. <laughs> Don't worry, Margarita. <laughs> yeah, and you can say I have had uh, my car for eight years, right? For eight years. Good. Good. What else did you learn today? Can you give me an example you've seen already? You, who has already finished the section four? In the platform, I I already finish section four uh, and five. Excellent, Jenny Carolina. All the <laughs> platform. I finished all the platform. Wow. Okay. Who hasn't sent the comprobante yet? Mm. <laughs> well, guys, do it, please. Do it as soon as you can. It's very important so that you can register for the next or enroll for the next course. Mira, te lo voy a explicar en español. 
¿Por qué Flor está insistiendo en que envíen el comprobante? Porque solamente así los van a poder inscribir para el siguiente módulo y para poderlos in y la inscripción se hace antes que termine el curso. Por eso es que ella está insistiendo, porque es un proceso que se hace con Insafor y es un proceso importante. Sus, tienen que estar todos sus documentos en regla y si uno hace falta, por ese uno no se puede inscribir todo el grupo. Así que, please send it, ¿ok? Eh, creo que es que lo tienen que mandar escaneado, ¿verdad? Imprimirlo, firmarlo y escanearlo. Así que yes. tal vez si no tiene printer, okay. go to a cyber cafe or ask someone for help. Ok. Well, guys, eh, I would like, I, the section I was checking in the section four is very short. So working in the, pla in the platform is not going to be a pain on the neck. It's going to be easy. Ok. It's very short. I was, I was checking and it was short. So I'm gonna ask you to do and the homework. And the homework will be write question, write sentences using for, seen, already. Uh-huh. What is the other word? Just yet. 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 Okay. Seen. <laughs> yes, for seems just already and yet. They are five. Okay. Good guys, it was a pleasure to see you. I just uh, want to check the people who came late to the class. Uh, for example, I have here, uh, vamos a ver. Brian Hyverson, estuvo en clase? Were you in class, Brian? I think he wasn't. Kenya, Vanessa, Corbera? Yes, teacher, here. Okay, okay. Leslie Victoria? Yeah, teacher, I am here. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Nidram Saul Guzman. I am here. Okay, so the only absence was Brian, absences were Brian and Nerlin. And that is another thing, guys, connected to the class. Every minute is counted. So it's important to connect every day and on time. Very good. I hope you have a good night and sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.